Ryan Salson here with Accelerate Marketing, and I am really excited to answer the questions that you guys have given me over the last recent few months. The purpose of this is to make sure that you guys feel heard. I mean, I want you guys to really know that we do look at all of these questions, and I want to make sure that I'm giving as much value as I possibly can on this channel in, in particular. So if you got any questions at any time, please ask them right here on the YouTube channel itself, okay? Let's go with the first question. The first question comes from Attic Care Marketing. We are a home services business and we have three locations. Each has their own verified Google My Business, which by the way, he's, he's saying GMB, but really it's now it's Google Business Profile, otherwise known as Google Maps to keep it simple. With many reviews, he says, what is the best way to set up the LSA or local service ads for each location? Great question. Okay. A lot of business owners have multiple locations. And so the best way to do this is to actually set up a Google business profile page for each one of those locations. Okay. Set up a Google business profile page or Google my business page for each one of those locations, and then create a separate LSA or local service ads page for each one of those Google business profile pages. Okay. So you connect them together and that way the reviews are shared and you want to do this as long as those locations are at least 30 miles apart. I'll repeat that. So you want to make sure that each location is at least 30 miles apart. Why do you want to do that? Because if the locations are 30 miles apart, then you're not going to be cannibalizing the leads that you're going to be getting from one location versus another. Just like if you're fishing and you've got a lot of people on a boat and you've got a bunch of people with fishing poles right next to each other, most likely you're not going to really catch more fish by having those poles right next to each other. Whereas if you went on the other side of the boat, 30 miles away, at least, then you're most likely going to be able to get more leads. So I'm going to encourage you guys to really think about this. Okay. So what's the next question. What's better? Two LSAs with reviews every two weeks or one LSA with weekly reviews? Great question. It would really be the one LSA with weekly reviews. We want to make sure that we are getting reviews on a consistent basis. Okay. Which means at least one review every week. It's something that we definitely keep track of with our clients. And one thing that we do help with, with the clients that we serve, which is to help them get more organic reviews. So we do that by actually coaching and training your staff on a monthly basis to help them understand what, for example, a 2W review is, which is what benefits they received and why they would recommend you. These are the questions that you want to have your clients ask themselves when they're leaving a review for your business in order to get more of those grassroots type reviews, not just from automated systems, also one of the things that we do is, is we gamify the process of getting reviews. And, and I would encourage you guys to do that by rewarding people that get reviews through monetary rewards, like, you know, $20 a review, for example, or whatever you do. And then the key is, is talking about getting those reviews every single week. So it's a part of your culture. Okay. That's the big key. Okay. So what's the next question? Does having different tracking numbers on each lead generation source negatively affect your NAP? NAP stands for name, address, and phone number. And this primarily has to do with your Google business profile or Google My Business or otherwise known as Google Maps optimization and not so much that's a local service ads. And we've found that having different tracking numbers does not affect actually at all the name, address, and phone number criteria that Google has. And here's why, because you can add an additional number in the back office of your Google business profile account that Google can then see as being an additional number. You can make that a tracking phone number. Years ago, they didn't have this option. Okay. And I highly recommend that whether you use us or anybody else, that you do set up a call tracking system for all the reasons that I talk about in my other video, which is for the 20 second delay so that you can have, you know, somebody answer your phone calls outside of your intake team or the call flow so that you can have certain people answer the phone from nine to five and then other people from five to nine or on the weekends so that you can be open 24 hours and seven days a week. And so that you can get more leads from your local service ads page. And then the third 
is so that you can actually have what's called sign you call, where you call as many numbers as you want at the same time. Okay. So it's important that you do have call tracking set up and that you let Google know that call tracking number in your Google business profile page so that your Google business profile page will not be negatively affected by a different name address and phone number out there on the internet that you're using for tracking purposes. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Next question. Okay. This question comes from Melissa Campbell, 8698. What AI phone service do you use? Okay. Great question. So Google wants to see that you're going to answer the phone and respond to message lead that they send you from the local service ads platform within 30 seconds so that Google has the best experience possible for people that find businesses on their platform. And we set out very long ago to find out what we could do to help businesses have the best and fastest response rate. In, in other words, phone calls that are answered in less than 30 seconds every single time. In the beginning, we recommended call services. And what we found is that those call services, about 30% of the time or more, those calls are sent to a music hold. And what happens is Google counts those calls as being missed. And that counts against your account and therefore you get you were leads. So we developed our own AI agent to answer and respond to both voice calls from LSA and any other platforms that you have. Uh, we can actually even have an agent answer a separate way for calls that come in through your Google PPC or your Facebook ads or your local service ads platform, etc. And the other thing that we can do is have it respond to your message leads as well. It's very difficult to actually respond to message leads that come through the LS8 platform. And we've cracked the code on how to do that, which is very important because message leads are very tightly tied with your overall lead volume increase that you might get from your account in terms of both voice and message. So I hope that makes sense. And we'll go to the next question.